Have you replaced the front headlight on your Mark III Skoda Octavia? Stick around, I'll take you through the process. It's very straightforward and simple. Okay, so we're gonna remove the uh, front bumper on this Octavia. Uh, what you need to do is remove these four bolts on the top, fairly straightforward and simple. There's four underneath, although on mine there's two missing, but there are four, there's uh, one, two, three, and then four underneath. Okay, um, and then the ones that really aggravate everyone who's doing this job is, there's actually two behind here, so uh, and it's quite hard to see, but you can see that just there, and there's another one a bit further around. Uh, they are a real pain to get to. However, I believe I've developed a system that will work, which I'll be sharing with you later. Um, so that's it. So there's four on the top, four on the bottom, three behind each wheel arch liner, and then two, two just here. Um, and then once you've done that, you, there's a couple of, um, you have to go down these little access holes here, and there's a couple of plastic levers to, to push down, which are kind of holding it on with a plastic clamp and then the whole thing comes comes forward and of course you'll have the electrical connectors to disconnect at that point. So stay with me and I'll take you through it step by step. Okay, so there's supposed to be four bolts uh, underneath the bumper here to remove. Uh, for some reason my vehicle's only got two bolts in place, but there are supposed to be four um, in those holes, so we'll just go ahead and take those out and then we can take the bolts out off the top as well. So. Just remove these bolts off the top. So we got to the one. This is actually part of the radiator surround. This bit here this is not part of the bumper. Okay, so to get to the three, the three bolts securing the bumper to uh, to the rest of the car uh, behind here, um, we need to at least remove a few of these bolts securing the uh, the wheel arch liner to the car. However, personally, I prefer to just take the whole wheel arch liner out. I actually have to replace this one anyway. It was damaged when my car was hit um, by an uninsured vehicle, so I need to replace it anyway. So, one, two, Just these that clip out there. That's it. This little thing here slides out. Let's get it actually goes 14, 14 screws. So the wheel arch line is just simply these three bolts here that need to be removed. They don't actually need to peel it back on another. It's just these three bolts here that are holding the front bumper on. Simple as that. Okay, so to get to these two bolts holding the bumper onto the subframe underneath the headlight, you are going to need some sort of special tool. And I tried a whole bunch of different tools uh, from these. And, and in the end, I found these two were the best solutions for the job. This is from Tang Tools. It's quite expensive. It's about £25. As you can see, it's got a little quarter inch ratchet there. And on the other side, it's got a, a socket for a screwdriver bit or a Torx bit. Um, so that's got a five degree arc on it. So it's great for small spaces, it's obviously really small there. And you can get a, a quarter inch socket onto the end of it there for a, with a screwdriver bit attachment onto the end of it there. Um, so you can get a bit more leverage on it. And I found that was really good. However, I actually found this was better. So this is a quarter inch right angle adapter and that's got a couple of gears inside. Now I have heard reports that those gears can actually give way under high torque, however, that is the best tool for the job. I found that that solved the problem the best. Just kind of got to drop it on, rotate it a little bit. There it goes. That's it, that's the hardest bit done. The rest of it's straightforward from here. So now we've removed the top four bolts here. We've removed the two bolts on the inside here. The two bolts on the inside here. Remove the eight bolts underneath. The bumper should now come off. The only last thing to remember is there are some clips. Uh, and these are plastic clips. I think here's, here's one of them, for example, because it's been crash damaged, but I can remove it. 
um, and they just need uh, encouraging out. As you can see, it's just a, a little, <laughs> quite useful little demonstration there. Okay, so here's a close-up. Um, so you can see here, you just need to press down on the, the sort of the outermost part, and that releases the catch on the inner part. This is slightly withdrawn, just so that you can see more clearly. Uh, and then if I pull it right out, you'll be able to see. So that is the, the hole that's meant to go to. As you can see, mine's slightly broken, which is why it's not clipped in very well, but um, that is how it's supposed to work. So that's the clip there. There's the hole it comes out of. So you just need to push down through that upper hole. So you just literally just push, push down through the hole and it will release the clip. Just have faith. There's one the other side. You then need to just disconnect this connector for your fog light. You might also have a connector for um, washer jets for the headlights as well, so be careful of that. It's just a case of just pushing down on, on here um, and then releasing the tension. Sometimes it's, it helps to push it together a bit just to release the tension a bit and then push down. Uh, it should be able to do it finger force. Looks like mine's broken off a bit, so I'm just going to release it under here. So literally just lift, lifting that tab up under there. And away it comes. Back on before you tighten them up, otherwise you can't get them. Right, so it's the screw holes for the bumper.